people who delve into spirituality sometimes have a difficult nut to crack. Very often, we have to revise our views. For example, the image of the independent woman is now being promoted. She is self-sufficient and does not need men for anything. Meanwhile, this is a misunderstood femininity. The feminine principle accepts the masculine and is passive towards it. Sometimes we encounter statements in one form or another, such as those contained in the title of this post. Sometimes it causes outrage. How can it be? Do these nasty guys want something again? They hunt and exploit, and it's not enough for them. Besides, women aren't going to stay at home. We have equal rights. Do we get it right? I often meet women who are tired, women who are frustrated and disillusioned, not only with their relationships, but with their lives. Straight up furious because what the hell? I've already done everything I can do. I've worked so hard. And him? I'm not lifting a finger. From there, it's a step to unpleasant words, behavior and a feeling of bitterness and hatred. It's true that when she's tired of fighting the world alone, she feels the same way. Unfortunately, a very common flaw in the feminine aspect is excessive charity, and the imposition on a woman of the burden of being perfect in everything, preferably better than a man in everything. The feminine aspect gives of herself a great deal and expects almost nothing in return. That's the way it should be. Or so she thinks. Because deep down, she is very much hoping for reciprocity. And when it doesn't happen, disappointment sets in. The feminine aspect, which is not concerned about its own well-being, can never expect reciprocity. The male aspect does not fill the gaps in the female aspect. Therefore, if someone approaches a relationship in this way and does not believe in its value, does not recognize their role, they will not be satisfied with the relationship. Excessive charity coupled with I want nothing in return is not an act of charity certainly not towards yourself. Let's be honest, it's an act of disrespect and self-love. This kind of I want nothing in return love, completely charitable, is certainly not unconditional love. No wonder it eventually runs out of fuel and enthusiasm for loading into a bucket with a holy bottom. The foundation of all relationships should be self-respect first and foremost, especially in the female aspect, which should be based on her belief that she deserves to be loved. Because of this, there are no problems with acceptance, and this is directly related to self-love. If a woman first ensures that she has access to the best for herself and takes care of her own needs, only she is able to fulfill her partner's needs in an authentic and effortless way, without feeling like her energy is being taken away or disrespected. Genuinely reaching that place of peace, love and fulfillment makes a woman calm and fulfilled. She doesn't wait for the male aspect to fulfill her needs. If she can't accept and feels frustration, it won't happen, even if the male aspect wants it to. She satisfies them on her own. It is not about material things. It is not about struggle, but about connecting to the source, to that place in the universe that gives a sense of security and peace. Only a spiritually awakened woman, and there are more and more of them, recognizes this place. The energy that comes from it never runs out, unlike our own energy. The feminine is designed to receive and manage energy. 
Naturally, the feminine can share energy, heal, and transform. This does not cause her much difficulty. This energy never runs out. In contrast, the male aspect lacks these skills, at least not to the same extent as the female aspect. While the feminine aspect is the reservoir of life-giving energy, the beginning of existence, the masculine aspect has completely different purposes, action, defense. It cannot provide this energy by itself. Therefore, it is based on the feminine aspect. The awakened woman, on the other hand, sends this energy to her partner quite naturally and effortlessly. Thus, it energizes him and helps him to wake up. This is by no means robbery or exploitation. The main thing is that everything is done consciously. Some women hold a grudge against a man because he only cares about one thing. More often than not, a man seeks this energy in this very way. He seeks that energy and comfort to find his way home. He does it the best way he can. Sexual energy plays a very important, or rather primary, role here. And it is the woman who succeeds, or rather, she should learn to do it. Often, it happens unconsciously, automatically, hence the misunderstandings. As you see, everything depends on the woman. Are women poor, oppressed? In my opinion, only until they wake up and realize that they are not victims at all, but on the contrary, it was about them and their awakening from the very beginning. In my opinion, the feminine aspect needs to discover its power and learn to manage its energy. Until she discovers that it's not about looks, it's not about the male aspect, and it's certainly not his job to fulfill her needs, she will be frustrated and disappointed. And it's not that this relationship is toxic. A woman who knows her power is self-sufficient. She doesn't chase after her partner. She doesn't need him to fill her up, which doesn't mean she doesn't want him or accept his presence. At the same time, she can provide others, whether it be her partner, her children, or even complete strangers, an easy refuge in her energy. Sometimes the path to discovering one's own power can be very painful. The more difficult, the more the woman does not see that she is alone. Really traumatic situations happen. The longer the feminine aspect depends on the external, instead of looking inward, the more it suffers. The longer she looks to the male aspect for what she should be looking for in herself, the worse it gets.